After almost two years of waiting, Jackery has finally released their new product called the Explorer 2000 Pro, but this is in fact a 2200 watt power station, and the battery inside has a 2200 watt hour running capacity. Inside the box, all these cables and adapters are really well made. They also include two solar adapters as well. These are the devices that are gonna allow you to plug up to six solar panels into the unit directly. The device weighs 43 pounds, so it's certainly not a lightweight, but you can definitely manage it with one hand. And I like the fact that they finally changed the handle so that you can fold it down when you're not using it and you don't end up losing space on top. But one disappointment is there's no wireless charging pad and it kind of seemed like this would be a perfect location to put one. The physical size of this thing is really impressive. It's only just a little bit bigger than the original 1000 watt power station. It measures 15 by 10 by 12 inches. They made some significant updates to the design, but they still kept things like the LED flashlight and kept all the outlets on the front of the unit. Now they added these rubber covers and these are gonna be good if you get dirt or dust in there, but if you don't like them, you could actually just pull them right out. On the front of the unit, the biggest improvement is the display. It's not quite full color, but you've got multicolor that gives you all the information you're gonna need and it is a smart display. So you're gonna see the amount of power going in, out, and it will do smart calculations to give you an idea of how long the unit's gonna to take to charge or how long you can run the battery before it empties out. You've got three AC outlets in the front, and each of those is capable of putting out 2200 watts. And they've included four USB outlets, two standard USB-A and two USB-C that are rated for a full 100 watts apiece. And the LED light in the front has three different modes, high, low, and it's got an SOS. And you've also got the standard 12 volt cigarette adapter, and that is fully regulated. On the back of the Jackery are the ports you're gonna use to charge it up. Now you can do it three different ways. You can plug it in the cigarette adapter in your car, or you can charge it using a solar panel. But the best feature of all is that they finally got rid of the AC adapter and you can charge this thing with a standard power cord. You can charge this thing to 100% in as little as two hours. They've now got a fast charging option, but I also wanted to make sure that you could be using power while you were charging it up. So I connected my 1200 watt heater while I was charging the unit up and it was able to do that function correctly. But I also wanted to make sure that the plugs were all putting out pure sign power. So I used my Tektronix analyzer and confirmed that all of the outlets are putting out pure sign power within spec. But as you can see, there's a little bit of distortion because the inverter has a small amount of noise. That's why that curve is not perfectly smooth, but it is still better and cleaner than what you'd get in your normal house outlet. I was also pleased to see how quiet this unit was. There are many of these on the market that just make too much noise, but this one was nearly silent and the fans inside are smart, so they're only gonna be on when they need to be. The Jackery is rated for a continuous output of 2200 watts, but it can also surge up over 3000 watts, so I wanted to put that to the test. Here I connected up my heat gun, ramped it up to 2600 watts, started my timer, and to my surprise, this thing could handle a surge for up to 30 seconds. And that might not sound long, but that's plenty of time to start up something like a compressor or refrigerator, anything that has a large startup draw of power. There are many cheap power stations on the market that can only run their surge watts for under one second. Many people use their Jackery's off-grid, so solar panels are gonna be a must. And fortunately, this device can handle up to 1200 watts of solar input. Jackery does a really good job with their panels. They fold out easily. They've got these rigid ends and they've got built-in stands. They take just a few seconds to set up. You can use as little as one solar panel or up to three, and they're gonna plug into one single adapter, and then that plugs into one of the ports on the back of the Explorer 2000. I mentioned that the cables that come with these solar panels are really high quality. I would say overall, the build quality of this unit and the panels was excellent. And when I connected them up, it wasn't really too sunny of a day, but I was still getting about 400 watts total. But if you were gonna charge it at the full 1200 watt of input, you could charge it up in as little as two and a half hours just with the solar panels directly. Now, so far, everything seems really good for this Explorer 2000, but there is an elephant in the room, and that's the batteries inside the unit. To many people's surprise, Jackery continue to use regular lithium ion batteries. Now, they are of high quality, and they do rate them for a thousand charge cycles. People nowadays are looking to use lithium iron phosphate batteries, and that's gonna give you a much longer life. Now, on a portable unit like this, it's tough because those iron phosphate batteries weigh significantly more and they would have made this device physically bigger. So that's gonna kind of make this thing less portable and that's not gonna to appeal to a lot of people. So I imagine they had to make a decision what kind of battery to use to give you the best combination of portability and keep the weight down low enough so that people could actually carry it. The other things I didn't like were the features this doesn't have. No wireless charging and Jackery still doesn't have any type of app control, but they've got a really good reputation for being reliable and delivering good solid electricity. And for many people, that's all they want. And if you're a Jackery fan, this is definitely one to consider. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.